Hello everyone, this is Ron Wilkerson again with uh, Proximity Marketing for You. Today I'm going to do a much anticipated video. I'm going to show you how to convert your Android phone into a Proximity Beacon. So you'll be able to broadcast your landing page if you're starting out with one of the trial um, accounts and you just want to experiment with the platform but you don't have any physical beacons and you do have an Android phone with Bluetooth enabled I'm going to show you how to convert that into a beacon the first thing you will need to do is to go over to the App Store and look for beacon toys search for beacon toys Play Store Beacon Toy app for Google Play. Click on that. And I'm showing it to you here in a browser, but you would just search for this locally in your app store on your phone, then install the app. Once the app is installed, you will open the app and you'll be greeted with the screen that is basically uh, the intro to the application. At the very bottom of the application you will see a blue dot with a plus sign. Click on the plus sign. At the very bottom of the drop down menu you will see Eddie Stone URL. Click on Eddie Stone URL. At that point it will create a generic beacon for you. At the top of that you will see tap me to set URL tap on that and at the top of that you will see a place to type in your URL so what you're going to do if you've already created your landing page you will go back to your landing page and you will click on where you see it says view visit online and then you will highlight that URL command C on a Mac control C on a PC and you will save that URL and then you will copy that URL into the area where it says enter URL after entering the URL right below it you will see a yellow button that says google.gl click on that and it will produce a Google shortened version of your URL a little bit further down you'll see your broadcast intervals from there I would just leave that at 250 which is balanced and slightly below that you're going to look at transmission power how far the beacon can be seen click on that and select high and right below that you have an option for beacon name and if you're doing multiple beacons this way you would want to name them so you would easily be able to identify them so you would just go in there and just remove that um, content that's already there and then type in the name that you want the beacon to display for your purposes and then at that point hit the little blue check mark and your beacon is broadcasting and you will see a pause and play button on the beacon and when it's in the play mode the pause button will be available to you when it is in the pause mode it will be the opposite so once you start that you've reached all of these different um, requirements now your phone will be broadcasting your URL to nearby phones meaning if their Bluetooth is enabled they will receive your notifications on their phone so when they pull down their drop down they will see whatever you're broadcasting so your landing page will arrive and be displayed on their phone. Okay guys, I just want to do a really quick video and show you guys how to set this up for yourselves because I know a number of people have been signing up for the platform but they don't have any beacons so they don't really know how to utilize it. Remember also, this is a physical URL. 
So you are not limited to just broadcasting this, um, say, uh, uh, with the beacon. You can actually copy this URL, and you can take that same URL that you've created, and you can go, let's say, over to your Facebook page. So if you went to, say, Facebook, and you, um, you wanted to utilize that, you can log into your Facebook, and you can then at that point use that same link. You can copy and paste that link right onto your Facebook page or groups that you're in. Or if you're uploading something to YouTube and you want people to be able to get that information as well, you can put it in the description and they will still be able to go to that physical landing page. And whatever you're looking for, if you're using your email funnels, if you're embedding video or maps or coupons, whatever it is, they will see it. All right, guys, I want to make this video short. Again, this is Ron Wilkerson with Proximity Marketing for You, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.